Happy New Year, everyone, live from New York for the first banter of the year, or should I say of the decade. Um, don't adjust your uh, your mic. I'm kind of sick, so I don't have uh, my full voice today. I also don't have my full setup today. I uh, forgot something super important, which is a USB extender. So I only had one port available. Uh, I decided to prior to give priority to my cam so the mic is not perfect and also i am playing with my bare hand today with a trackpad no mouse so um for the first time ever in my life i'm asking you guys to have mercy on me and challenge 5-0 or 3 plus 2 no bullet today no 3-0 no dirty flying no bishop h6 nothing uh, i'm super weak today no voice no speed uh, so it is definitely time to challenge me and bring me down under 3,000. I think I'm over 3,000. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the chat if the quality of the stream is acceptable. Uh, Koopy, good to see you. Big boy, uh, Olaf, Andre, Kesserling, Zia. Wow, a lot of people in the chat here. Travel Freak, let me win. Uh, Oli, thanks. Uh, Thanks to everyone for being here today. Um, I was actually supposed to stream yesterday, but I was too sick. Uh, this is the best I've ever felt since last week. Uh, for the first time, I have kind of a voice, but here I am with some very hot water, and uh, I will try to entertain you guys without my speed and with good chest today, hopefully. So I'm going to go into my main screen and uh, take a first challenge this will be tough it is so tough to uh, to play a blitz game without flagging anyone uh, I don't know if you saw earlier <laughs> Kamsky rage quit because he got flagged in the rook versus rook uh, end game I don't want to get into this but man I would love to make a GM rage quit like this uh, I'm like the dirtiest guy ever and uh, Man, seeing Kamsky rage quit like this, and this is nothing. This is nothing. The guy barely even played one move in the Rook versus Rook. If I had this position against Kamsky in the opposite color Bishop endgame, oh man, I would make him rage quit so bad. Uh, but that was really, really funny. Okay, Koopy, uh, let's get the first game um, of the day. So, Koopy, uh, best of luck to you. 3 plus 2, loving it, and playing from a uh, trackpad. So we got a Dutch, uh, we got a Dutch defense here. I'm gonna go ahead and play Bishop G5, which is my go-to line. Uh, can he really do that? Uh, okay, I think this will transpose. But usually, um, Black gets a pawn on D5. Uh, maybe he will just waste some time here. So Queen F3 is kind of my pet line here. I could play H4, H5, but uh, I also like the plan with H3, G4. I will need a very active chat today. Um, ideally, if I can avoid speaking or minimize speaking, it would be best. Uh, his knight is here now. Uh, can I play already queen h3? Um, is queen h3 already unpleasant for him? Rook f7 takes, bishop takes. Yeah, I think this is unpleasant uh, because he has to take with the pawn at the end of the line. And uh, with rook g1 check coming, uh, it might be very unpleasant for him, or maybe even lost. So let's go here. Uh, he goes here. Oh my god, is he lost? Can I go here and my g6 check? That could be one of the shortest game. Um, knight here, I go 96. I think he's done. Yeah, just 96. And. Uh, just like this, I won my first game of the decade, or 2020. So, Poopy, <coughs> nice playing with you. Um, I feel so weak without a mouse, guys. Like, I can't flag anyone. This is terrible. I have to play good chess. It's really, really fun. Oh, all of a sudden, I have no mouse and everyone is challenging. Um, I'm mostly going to take five all games, or three plus two. Um because I'm just weak and slow today. 
All right, so let's play Palapiti. I have never played against him, and it's a 5-0 game. So let's get let's get this game started. Hmm. Hot water feels so good. No, guys, it's not even a New Year party that killed me. Um, I've been sick. I've been sick since one week, and um, like I said, today has been the best I have ever felt in the last week, and hopefully it's going to improve. Actually, I'm testing things out today. If uh, the stream goes well today, I might uh, do it again tomorrow. I'm currently in New York, here until next uh, Tuesday, and um, I'm planning to have a lot of banter sessions here. I have a lot of free time here in, here in New York, so waiting for Pala PT to play. I'm gonna give him uh, another five seconds to uh, to make a move. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to cancel the game. Three, two, one. Sorry. Um, let's take another one. Well, Zia, it's up to you. Three plus two, five oh. Pretty much the same. Uh, we got a lot of people challenging. All right, big boy. All right, big boy. All right, two sec, guys. All right, all right, big boy. Best of luck to you. What is my record against this guy? Okay, I have won most of the games. So it's going to be a hyper accelerated dragon. <sighs> Playing something uh, I know very well. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to flag anyone today. I'm just going to play fast and try to not get flagged. I think he's supposed to play bishop c4 here. If he goes queen d2, I got d5. Now I got an improved version of a normal dragon uh, because I managed to push my d-pawn only one time. BGH, good to see you. Oh my god, watching Kamsky's clip. Actually, I went into the the whole YouTube video and I rewind it many times this is sick getting a super GM on tilt like this wow that would be my dream to make a GM rage quit like this and what the other guy did wasn't even nasty there was no intent you can't even prove that there was intent but uh, if I played Kamski man it would be full intent guys I would private message him and say, Kamski, I'm sorry, I'm about to flag you, Mr. Legend. But, uh... <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Bishop H6, Kamski. That would be sick. It would be uh, the clip of the decade or something. Yes, yeah. Uh... Kamski rage quit. I've never seen anything like this. You can look it up on Chess24 on the Venter Blitz Cup match. That was so funny. Okay, can I play D3 here? Um, or can I play E4? Like D3 and E4 looks really good. The point of E4 is that if he takes, I go Queen H4 check. And this is really nasty because he has to play G3. And then I take E4, he has to go King F2. And yeah, he should be made it very soon. Everyone's trolling Kamski. Well, Kramnik, just uh, link anything related to to that. Um, I would be super curious to see anything related to that. Like any Reddit thing. Um, that's so funny. Okay, uh, this is really painful for him. I could take. This doesn't work. Um, okay, what what is the most accurate way to go here? I think taking cannot be bad. He goes here. I guess just bishop b7. And even rook e2 next. Yeah, rook e2, f e2, and queen f6 check, I guess. Wow. 
Kramnik, thanks for uh, thanks for sharing this. I'm definitely gonna watch after the banter. I'm playing on track pack here, so it's kind of insulting if I if I open a, a link and read about Kamsky while uh, beating my opponents. So I won't go that far. Uh, I think I can check here and probably take with F. I don't see how he recovers from this. Oh my god, play queen e1. Oh no, I don't have... Uh, yeah, okay, he, just, he decides to resign. Okay, well, another uh, nice game here. Um, thanks for playing, big boy. Um, let's get into next game. Let's try to get some... Uh, always blame the mouse. Oh, this is a... This is a dangerous game. Always blame the mouse. Did he just create this account to troll me? All right. If I lose, I lose. All right. Always blame the mouse. Never played this guy, and he's premium. Okay. I will blame the mouse. Or should I say the absence of mouse? I hope you guys had a nice New Year celebration. I don't know if you guys are back to work or not. Um, I'm just here chilling. So of course, uh, I'm trying to have earlier banters nowadays. Uh, okay, he's building castle. He's supposed to take. So if he doesn't take, can I take that and just play bishop d3? Or can I play c5? Can I play bishop g5? Um, so I think I'm going to play bishop e3 first. I really want him to take. a5 is weird. Um, can I just play c5 and b4? Okay, he goes here. So I guess bishop here. And I think often in those lines, I'm trying to uh, trade the bishop for the knight. So I can get b4 in. So he goes here. I'm going to castle. E5. Uh, I'm even going to take this. And I'm going to play D4. If he takes, bishop takes. Takes here, queen takes. Yes, big boy. I think you're supposed to not go A3. You're supposed to go bishop C4 and prevent, uh, prevent D5. All right, so the good news is I am up on time in this game, despite playing on trackpad, which is pretty good. Um, so do I want the knight on b6 here? This is a question. So I, I could go, um, or, or could I take here? Because if queen takes, bishop takes knight. Oh, okay, I think this is a mistake. Now I definitely have a good game. Um, queen f3 maybe? Queen f3. He's going to play rook here. But then I got 92, knight d4, which is possible. Um, if he goes king g7, I at least have queen g4 check. Or I can try to um, to go to f5 with my knight. So king g7, I could, I could go 92. But then maybe bishop e6 is annoying. Um... So let's go here. So if he goes bishop a6, I might have rook a1. Yeah, now I think I have rook a1. If he takes, I take the queen on check. And uh, if he takes the knight, I obviously take the rook. <laughs> Floyd Akash. Am I a famous effing legend? Um, well, I'm not gonna be a legend if I get uh, if I get mated here. Um, that was a good move. Props to my opponent. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to take this, and we when he takes this, I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to play something clever. So let's say g3, getting rid of the uh, back rank mate. 
Well, I'm not a legend. Uh, I'm not a legend like Kamsky for sure. But uh, am I a bishop h6 legend? Maybe. Maybe I am. He wants to go queen here. Uh, which will probably lead to mate. Can I take this? Queen here. Check. King h3. This is messy. But I think I can do it. I think it's safe. Check, king h3. He doesn't have any check. And I threat mate with rook a8. <laughs> Sleepy Mario. I think this is going to be a new meme. Everyone is a effing legend. <laughs> no, my first name is Lafong, Sleepy Mario. My first name is Lafong. And my last name is Bishop h6. <laughs> or maybe my middle name is Bishop h6. I don't know. But here, uh, all I know is that I'm threatening rook a checkmate. And if he trades queen, I'll be up a pawn. Yeah, so the whole chat is talking about Kamsky right now. So if you guys haven't watched, you should go on YouTube and look at the uh, last Benter Blitz Cup match between uh, Kamsky and... I'm sorry, I don't even know the game, the name of the other guy. Let's call him uh, Dirty Flagger. Kamsky versus uh, Dirty Flagger. And um, Kamsky basically got flagged one game and <laughs> just rage quit the match. And it was really funny. So everyone is talking about it right now. Yes. Yes, Jay Friend. Kamsky is going to report me soon. You're so lucky, Sleepy Mario. Seeing this live is like... Amazing. Now he wants to go queen here. So what if I take? Is he going to go queen check? Um, what is the most precise move here? I need to find the most precise move. Um, rook a7? No, he's going to take here. What if I take? Can I take? He goes check, I just go back. And he doesn't make me. And the thing is, if he's not careful... Like right now, he's not careful. Um, I could go just rook d6. And uh, I'm turning rook d8. So he has to go rook b8. Go full, full passive. And uh, it's, it's almost... Uh, he can almost resign here. Because after rook c8, I go c7. Okay, if he goes here, I'm just going to go here. And he doesn't have any check. Uh, okay, so what? He's going to go check here, but then I just go here. Okay, so just c7. Uh, check king h3. Yes, I wish Kamsky had played Lafong. He would have banged his head. Yeah, of course. When you get flagged by a patser like me, you bang your head. So rook c8, rook d8. Amazing, I'm gonna win another game playing on trackpad. All right, all right, feels good, feels good. Okay, um, so again, guys, I'm mostly gonna accept 5 0 games. Andre Kessel Ring, I saw him in the chat, so let's play him. So, again, for those who just joined, I'm sorry. Um, my voice is completely dead right now. I've been sick for a week. So, slowly recovering. And hopefully, the stream will be good today. Uh, again, I don't have any mouse. And the mic is the sound coming off my webcam. So, not ideal conditions to stream today. But if you guys are enjoying it, let me know. And I'll stream again tomorrow. So I don't know this line too much. Um, okay, bishop b7. I think I'm supposed to go a3. And then something like just uh, e4. And probably e5. We'll see what happens. Normally he can play c5. But now if I got this move in. Um, and then what's going on here? Can I go bishop c2? 
c5, queen d3, g6. Or am I supposed to just take this? Can I go here? c5 takes everything, queen e2. I think this should be good. All right, let's get a hot water refill. So today, in 90 minutes, I'm probably going to talk more than the whole last week combined. Yes, I'm playing on trackpad. Confirmed. No mouse today. I forgot a very important thing for my, for my stream. A USB extender. I only have one port. And uh, showing you guys my face was more important than um, playing with a mouse. You see, guys? Show you my face over flagging people. So I'm trying to play good chess today. Sleepy Mario, thanks for the compliment. Uh, he goes here, so I'm gonna go apply pressure. Go rookie eight, uh, rookie one, sorry. Trying to target the uh, e6 pawn. If he goes rook e8, I can probably go knight g5, which is very unpleasant for him. Um, how does he even defend the pawn? He might have to go something like bishop d8. Then I can follow up with knight e5 maybe. Um, not sure I'm going to take that pawn. But uh, I'm having a good game here. So let's see what he does here. Looks like a very difficult position for him. Uh, yeah, I'm not taking that. So I'm just going to go here. Uh, if he takes the knight, it's game over. Because I think with the pawn and h7 is falling. Um, <laughs> Crab League, very funny. Lafong trying to play good chess. It's a troll day today. Yes, it is. It is. Lafong trying to play good chess and Kamsky rage quitting. This is a good day for chess. Oh no. Oh no, someone is getting made it here. Someone is getting made it. So. Where is the mate? Let's just go here. Let's just chill and play queen h5 soon. If I get my queen to h5, it's game over. All right, so let's take this guy. And uh, let's play queen here. And this is gg. This is gg. Thanks for playing, Mr. Andre. Yeah, so basically, maybe he can play g6. But I'm too lazy to calculate the mate. All right, Andre, thanks for the game. Let's uh, find a new victim. Um, so Luke Hayden, I see your challenge, but challenge 5-0 if you want to play. And g14, I also see your challenge. Till Skak. I don't know if I pronounced this correctly, but let's get a game. Let's get a game. All right, all right. Um, so five zero. Obviously, I'm gonna play less games today. I usually take all the three zero games. All right, Bishop G five, E three. So Queen's Gambit decline. Exchange variation. Very simple chess here. B6 is a very known, well known trap. If he plays B6, I take the knight and go queen h5 and I win the pawn. So he has to play c6 or knight bd7 here. Let's see if he sees that. Yes, he does. Okay, so I'm going to play, uh, let's say, queen c2 first. h6. Um, I'm going to go bishop f4. And hopefully he goes. Uh, c6 well not hopefully i mean this is the normal line and then i will go h3 so if he plays knight h5 i got bishop h2 saving my dark square bishop uh 94 um i see absolutely no point for doing this other than wanting to check me 
and make my king. Okay, he goes here. I'm gonna go here. He can check. I'm gonna play king f1. I don't think it's worth a pawn to uh, just uh, take the right away from castling. All right, so I'm gonna take this, uh, play knight here. If he checks, I'm gonna play queen c3. Surprisingly, I've been up on time in most of my games today. Maybe I know that I'm on a trackpad and I need to play fast. So I'm castling here. Uh, well, this is just a, another night drop. All right, so people are really nice to me today. All right, GG, Mr. Skuck. Um Okay, let's uh, skak cafe. Okay, bye, ball. All right, let's get another game going. Good luck to you. All right, let's see what he has in store for me. Okay, I played g6 earlier. Probably gonna play. Oh well, if he plays d3, I, I got no choice. I gotta go for for this. Okay. Have we played before? No, okay. Uh, we have never played. I have never played against this guy yet. So let's go here. And I'm going to do my normal thing, which is to play on the queen side. Okay, b5. And uh, this is a very typical plan here. I'm going to go b4. Apply even more pressure. And if he plays. Uh, c4, I'm going to go knight d4. Uh, okay, queen c2, I'm just going to play a5. And whenever he goes e f5, oh, he goes here, so I'm, I can go here. So knight d4 takes, I'm going to take back, and it's a really nice square for me on c5 with my knight. All right. So should I play knight c5 right away, or he's got knight knight here? Um, maybe e5 is best. If he goes f5, I might go bishop h6, my favorite move. If he doesn't, I'm probably gonna yeah. If he goes here, um, do I want to play knight c5 though? Because knight c5 might b3 might be annoying. Uh, or should I play f f5 or bishop b7? I don't know what to do here. Okay, let's go knight c5. If he goes knight uh, knight b3, I might go queen b6, and maybe follow up with um, queen takes c5. I need my my pawn on d6 to uh, to take back on e5. He goes here. Now I'm probably gonna go a4. So I'm taking away. The b3 square for his knight. If he goes b3, I'm just going to keep the tension. If he goes here, now I don't want to push one of the two pawns because I don't want him to close the, the queen side. Um, if I play f5, he's going to take, then I can take with the bishop, which could be pretty bad for him. Um, but I would like to prepare it a little bit more though. So. Okay, what to do here? I want to be able to prepare all this. What to do? So f5 takes... f5, the problem is that he takes on e5 and he takes on f5 and then he goes knight takes e5. I'd like to have a rook on... Uh, can we, I'm going to play queen b6 first. I think my ideal setup here is to get a bishop on d7. That rook from b to e8, and then push f5. He goes knight here. Um, but now, that might be a good moment to go f5. Now might be a good moment. If he checks on uh, d5 check, I go just king h8. And I think my, queen, my king is safe there, unless he has some uh, queen h5 nonsense. Um, I'll see what happens. Or maybe bishop e6 was better. I don't know yet. 
We'll see. Yeah, now he goes for this. Okay. Um, I might have a little bit of trouble here. Okay, let's go here. Maybe I'm in a little bit of trouble. Because he can take my bishop and go queen h5. Oh, the queen takes... Okay, I'm very happy to see this move. I think he could have gone queen h5 and I would have been in trouble. Um, so let's trick him. Uh, let's play this. If he takes everything, I got knight c5 at the end. So I could have played knight c5 first, but then it's easier for him to see that his rook is hanging on e4. So uh, this is the dirty part of me here. So the point of e4 is to go e3 next move and trap his bishop. So again, if he goes queen h, if he went queen h5, would have been much better. Uh, now he goes here. I guess I can just go knight here and just trap his bishop when he plays. And the the main difference is when he goes queen h5, I'm not really scared of anything because even if he plays knight g6, the most he gets is an exchange. Um, so am I, can I safely do this here? I guess so. Uh, cause I'm winning the bishop anyways. And if he goes queen here, he's not really threatening anything. I can even go knight e4 and take the bishop to three. Yeah, so he takes here. Um, I guess I can take that. He goes here. Um, I could go bishop d4, but he has some weird stuff. So I guess knight here is precise because it removes any nonsense with f6. Also threatening to take uh, the pawn on g3. Also threatening to take the rook on e3. So multiple threats here. Um, he goes queen here. Now I think, no, this is very bad because he has queen d5 check. So, what is best here? I guess bishop here. Takes. I'm going to take this. And I think I'm just up a full rook here. King of chain. All I need to do is to trade. And I'll be fine. So, I'm under two minutes which is still acceptable. Uh, okay, well, this is a free queen, so I'm just going to take it. Thank you. G, G. Well played. I mean, if you play queen h5 earlier, you might have a good game. Thanks for the game. Okay. Uh, let's get someone tough. Let's get someone tough. Uh, I think Olaf is dangerous. Let's give Olaf a chance. I have a feeling that Olaf is the kind of guy I've flagged before. So Olaf, best of luck to you. I have a bad feeling about this game. You're 2400 and I don't recall beating you normally. Okay. So he plays super quickly and he's definitely ready for me. Um. So, which version do I want? Okay, I'm going to take here. Take here. Knight c6. And I guess just queen a5 quickly and rook fc8. I need to play quickly here. Um, I think I flagged this guy normally when I win. So rook fc8. B4, I'm just going to go back to D8. And at least uh, I managed to get my rook from F to C8, which is pretty good. And he might have some problems with his C4 pawn if he does that. So let's see if he... Uh... Oh, right. Right. I flagged Olaf in the probably rook versus rook end game. And he said last game. Okay. Well, Olaf, I'm going to try to beat you today um, by playing normal. Can I play queen b6? 
queen b6, knight d5, I'm going to take it. Knight d4, I feel the knight is misplaced. I can probably go queen d4. And if he goes b4, uh, now does he have some issues here with the c4 pawn? I mean, how can he defend c c4 if I just go queen b8? Can I just go queen b8 here? Okay, let's say I go I go queen b8. How does he solve his problems? Bishop here. Um, well, I think I'm taking this guy now because uh, c4 is already weak, so I'm gonna get e4. And if he wants to defend c4, he's going to have to give up the uh, d2 bishop. Luke is asking why not the a rook. Well, the action is on the queen side, Luke, so I want to get two rooks on the queen side. Can I play e6? Okay, let's play e6. So I have a nice square for my queen after trading here. So he's probably take yeah he's probably playing here so now I can take and just uh, get my queen to safety here and I want to reroute my knight to d4. Okay, that's perfect. He's uh he's forcing me to reroute my knight to d4, which is something I already wanted to do. Knight here. Um, okay, I can play rook d8 and I guess d5 is following next. Uh, unless takes, takes, can you really take here? Or can I play knight d4 afterwards? Yeah, there was probably a tactic in my favor. So let's play queen f6, followed by maybe knight d4. I feel that this endgame should be very good for me. Let's play a5. B5, the point is that I play knight d4 and then I win c5. Most likely. I think c5 will be weak. Okay, he goes here. Now I can probably go here. Oh, but he has a5. Okay, I didn't see this. That was not super. That was not super well played. Because you can take and play queen takes. But then I probably get this. Threatening bishop c3, he can't go rook c1, and then also threatening uh, rook a to win a3. Yeah, now I got this. Well, his queen is trapped, so it's even worse. Guys, I'm beating Olaf without flagging him, which, in my opinion, is a very big accomplishment. GG, Mr. Olaf. Thanks for playing. That was good. That was good. Next game. Let's go. <coughs> okay, first game play first time playing against him. Let's give him a Benoni. He says good luck. Alright. Good luck to you. Okay, no Benoni. Bishop f4. B3, okay. I'm gonna go like this. C4, I'm gonna go C5. And let's see. Knight here. I'm gonna go knight c6. D5, knight a5, I guess. And in some lines I got knight h5. He doesn't play h3. He he does play h3, so I'm gonna take here. And now we get something uh, normal, some kind of a Grunfeld. But uh, I feel that I'm probably down a tempo, because normally you get d5 in one move. But uh, hope it won't matter too much. I mean, it's like it's like if he played h3 for free. So let's see here. All right, he goes castle. I'm gonna play bishop e6. Try to force him to commit. If he, if he pushes c5, um, I might go knight e4. And if he doesn't, uh, and he takes on d5, he's going to get an isolated pawn on d4. 
B3, interesting. Um, B3, I think I'm going to go look here just to apply some, some pressure. Um, queen A5 is also possible. Yeah, I think I'm going to go Queen A5 here. And maybe you just uh, Rook FD8. So here, I really want him to commit and push his pawn. Uh, okay, got to be careful here. Got to be very careful. Because uh, in some lines, he can take here. I don't think he can take here right now because I, I got the knight, which is defending the queen. Uh, but just saying that I have to be very careful about this uh, discovery or this potential discovery. So I'm basically just putting my pieces on nice squares here. So I'm going to take this. If he takes this, I might get a free pawn with dc4. If he takes with the bishop, um, by default, I'm assuming that dc4 wins a pawn. But we'll see. Thanks, uh, Donny, Johnny DJ. Good to see you in the chat. Good to see you in the chat. Uh, so, I have a very nice time lead here. And the more this banter goes, the more I'm losing my voice. Whoa, what is this? He took a pawn, right? Uh, well, if he took a pawn, I think I'm winning this. He can take here by king f8. Then he has to take here. Uh, if he takes here, what is a count here? I'm probably up a piece. Because I already took a piece. So I think he's just done material here. So bishop takes queen. I'm just going to take the knight. Bishop b4 check. I'm just going to go king here. And pawn takes. I'll just... Uh, I'll just be up a pawn. No, sorry, up a piece. He has to go f4. Um, and then I'll just go b6 and consolidate my position. b6 and knight c5, I guess. He's got two pawns. But I'm not... Not really worried here. I can play bishop if fate. I can just trade everything. So um, I'm also up in time. So no, no, not worried about anything here. F five doesn't look too dangerous. Um, I could play F five my, myself. Takes takes. Am I fine here? Okay, I guess I can play here. F5. And if he, if he takes en passant, I can probably take with the knight. Okay, he goes here. But now, I think the game is pretty much over. <coughs> Whenever he takes on F5, I'll probably take with the bishop. Knight d3 is threatened. I can also just go, uh, okay, it goes like this. I can probably take like that. And then uh, rook d4 incoming. It goes here. I'm going to go bishop f8. The point is to play rook d4. If he takes, I take back and I cement my bishop on c5, which is pretty good. Hello, legend, says Matter Monkey. No, Matter Monkey, you are the legend. You are the legend. Okay, you just got to watch out for bishop c6 check. But uh, this should be good enough for me. Takes, takes, bishop c5 and a5. Manor Monkey is the kind of guy who will enjoy enjoy seeing Kramnik rage quit. Uh, not Kramnik, sorry. Uh, Kamsky. I'm sorry. It wasn't Kramnik. But yeah, Mr. Kurtz. Have you seen this today? Mr. Kamsky rage quitting. Okay, let's uh, let's trick him. Let's give him a free pawn. I love Kamsky, but I did enjoy it here. Uh, let's go here. And then probably bishop c5. And probably rook, uh, rook d8 just to apply pressure. 
or even rugby eight. All right, GG. GG. Okay. Um, let's get. Okay, let me win. All right, let me win. Let's play. Let's play. Good luck. Good luck to you. We have played three times, and he has a draw. Whoa, we're going to have to be careful here. Uh, okay, so close Sicilian. Uh, bishop b5. Let's go here. I'm never too sure, too sure how to play this. Never too sure how to play this. Okay, bishop g7, I guess. F4, e6. Uh, knight here, 97, I guess. Castles, castles. And I'll try to play d4, d5 in one shot. Bishop b3 is a big mistake because I get d5 and I win a piece. Okay, so he obviously sees it. So d5. Maybe b5 after bishop b3. b5, a4, c4. Maybe. We'll see. We will see. So, not doing too bad so far. If he takes, I'm probably taking with the knight. And uh, I can get a nice pawn structure with b6, bishop b7. Bishop here. Uh, Okay, let's go b6. I don't want to go b5. It's a little committal. Uh, and I prefer just securing my pawn structure here. Uh, c3. Okay, I guess I'm taking here. If he provokes me like this. Then bishop b7. Now I got a very nice bishop pair. So a5. Okay, so he's going for the kill here. He is going for the kill, guys. So how do I not get killed? Um, I think my bishop is too powerful here. So I'm going to sack a pawn. And d3, there's no chance d3 can survive. So for an example, okay, here. Uh, I mean. I don't think I'm getting made it. So I'm just going to go for it. So he has to take back, probably with b, and then knight f5, trades queens, and his pawn is so weak in the end game. Knight takes. Not sure I agree with this move. So I'm gonna go here and take with the uh, with the f rook, and now he's giving me a pawn for free. Something I cannot explain. So let's just take this. Rook d1, queen a6. And I'm going to have to survive for one move. Okay, now he wants to take this pawn. Can I take f3? And just cement my, my knight on d4. Yeah, let's take this guy. I could play knight d4 after. So let's just play rook b8. Let's just chill here. I'm up a pawn. So... I'm really not worried about anything. Oh, I want to take that bishop. Should I take that bishop? Or maybe just rook here. Take control of the open file first. G4, I'm going to take it. Uh, he goes here. Wait a sec. Can I just go rook d3? Bishop moves. And then I take f3. That's pretty fat, bad for him to have two sets of double pawns. And then I can go bishop h6, threat f4. It's going to be a very long line for him. Yeah, so I'm going to take this. And uh, so if I go bishop h6, he goes rook here. Uh, do I want to allow any sort of counterplay? I mean, I'm up, I'm up so so much here. I think this is very good for me. 
So rook here, I can just check here, check here. And then my knight goes back to f5, and he can't even go rook d6. Oh my god, did I just blunder upon? All right, guys. All right, guys. First blunder of 2020. Oh my god. No. No. Not like this. No. This is terrible, guys. Oh no. Um okay. So this is survival mode now. Oh my god, that was so bad. That was so bad. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose. How can I miss this? The rook here doesn't do much though. Okay, let me get some counterplay. King g6. Let me get some counterplay here. He is allowing some counterplay. Um, okay, let's play a4. Let's get active here. And put him under some pressure. Wait, what is this move? Now he's giving me a pass pawn. Is he choking? Buddy, are you choking here? Are you choking? Uh, wait a sec, I need to calculate. But I think this is precise. So let's take this. Let's go here. Check. A2. B3. B2. What a choke, guys. What a choke. Oh my god, let me win. Come on. Oh my god, let me win. You had it. Look at this. Um, so in this position, first of all, when you're up a piece, you should just consider trading pieces. So if you move rook here, I'm pretty much resigning. Because uh, I have to trade rooks here. If I don't trade rooks, you get bishop e7. So it takes, takes, and you just collect all the pawns. First of all. Second of all, after you could hear, buddy, rook d8, and again, I resign. So you play here, it's all good, rook d7, um, a4, why don't you just take it? It's a bluff, I got nothing. Rook here, b3, again, I got nothing. Stabilize the position and win. Yes. Last time I almost lost to a 1400. Yeah, no, I think it was 1200 actually. Um, no, that was terrible. How did I How did I hang a knight? Uh, nice analysis. Yeah, I almost lost, guys. Dodge a bullet here. Let me win. Thanks for Thanks for choking. <laughs> thanks for choking. All right. Um, we got someone. We got a grumpy kid. Let's Let's play grumpy. All right, Grumpy, 2400, so this is going to be a tough match. I have never played against this guy, so let's see. Let's see. Okay, Queens can be declined. Okay, is he going to is he going to convert? Com okay, he's going for the stone wall. He is going for the stone wall. I always forget how to play against this. But I think I'm supposed to go 92 when he goes 94. And the point is, uh, I want to open the diagonal from the bishop here so I can put a knight of my own. I hope Lafon plays a cheater so that he loses something. I don't. I really don't need to play a cheater uh, to lose Kramnik. Um, I just need to play someone who 
plays fast enough to beat me. So bishop e6, interesting. I see what he's doing. I think he's trying to uh, <coughs> exchange his... Uh... Wait a sec. What's going on here? Can he take, takes, takes? Then he has to go pawn takes? Or knight takes? Hmm. This is messy. What about knight here? Is this okay? Take care, Kramnik. Good to see you. Yeah, I know you. I know you guys are bored uh, when I win all the time. But uh, usually, what I do is that I win by flagging people and I play bad chess. Today, you guys are bored because I'm actually playing decent chess. That might be the reason why you guys are bored. So let's take here. Now what's going on? Is he going to take here? Can I take with the queen? Can I take this? This is very complicated. Okay, let's take this guy. And he gets, he gets some hanging pawns here. He gets some hanging pawns here. I'm going to have to try to attack this. Okay. I'm too lazy to calculate here. I guess I'm taking that. And he might have some uh, some trouble defending the d5 pawn. Maybe bishop a3 next. Uh, queen f3. Looks like a good move. Threatening this, 94, I got the d5 pawn hanging. So if he has to play queen here, at least h2 is not hanging anymore. And I can go rook fd1. Uh, Brutal smurf. There's a chance. Uh, just challenge and I'll see what I can do. There's a lot of people challenging today though. Someone is saying why mock and go about Kamsky? We're all human with emotions. Um, I'm not mocking Kamsky. Uh, I'm just saying that him rage quitting was really funny. Not uh, not laughing at him, just uh, just thinking the situation is funny. So rook here, very good move. Very good move actually. He wants to go g5. So what to do? h3 I guess, avoid knight g4, g5 I can maybe go knight h5, although maybe g0, oh, do I get, do I get my tra queen trapped, queen is almost trapped there, I have to be careful, so rook fd1, just trying to put some pressure on all the pawns here, so I think he is a little bit overexpanded here, uh, c5, d5, and f5 are all weak, um, so, is there a way I can exploit this? Takes, knight takes, queen takes here, forks the two knights, and can go here. Maybe not enough. Uh, 91 he takes here, which is a bit annoying. Knight h5 takes, takes g6, not enough. What to do? Knight here, threats here, and I, and I also threat knight c3, maybe taking e, oh, d4. I definitely didn't see that. That's a bit annoying. d4 it was a very good move. That doesn't work either. Um, I might be a little bit in trouble here. Takes, takes. Okay, let's take this. Okay, guys, things are going to get very messy. If you want to see me lose, you are, you might have a chance. I don't like my position here. Um, it's very messy, and I got no idea what's going on. Let's play knight f4, maybe with the intention of going uh, 
knight d5. If he takes, I'm going to take with the queen. I absolutely need my knight on e2 to block uh, to block it. Undisputed says, have you ever played at the CUCC? Uh, yes, I have. In 2007, I guess, for Montreal. CUCC is the Canadian University Chess Championship. For those who are wondering. Um, let's go Queen C2. So I got Knight D3 and maybe collecting the uh, the pawn on C5. I'm also low on time, so I got to be careful here. I'm playing against uh, someone who definitely knows what he's doing. Uh, so it's a very tough game here. Uh, okay, he goes here. Let's trade queens. Take here. And I'm going to have to uh, speed up a little bit. Knight d5 looks like a good move for him. And I'm going to have to uh, speed up uh, because he has a very strong pawn on, uh, on e3. Okay, well, let's go knight, knight here. I might win a pawn here. I might win a pawn here. So let's see. He might have blundered something. That's a good move. Uh, yeah, that was a good move. Can I take the rook? Okay, let's take the rook. Knight c4, applying some pressure on e3. Uh, let's play a4, but now he cements his knight here. So I gotta find a way to apply some pressure on this pawn. Maybe g3, f4. Yeah, g3, followed by king here and f4. And I need my king on f3. Yeah, I need my king here. And maybe uh, knight. No, that's not good. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. If he takes, I take back. If he takes here, I got knight g4 check. And I win the knight. I think I can check here. Okay, this is a free pawn, and this is a free rook. Wow. Thanks for playing, Grumpy. That was a really, really, really tough game. But in the end, I managed to survive with a trackpad, and then didn't get flagged. GG, Grumpy. Nice game. Um, okay, you got this guy. This guy, okay, let's play. I like bishops. Uh, wait a sec, I like bishops. Okay, let's go. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. So, guys, still undefeated for those who just joined. I don't have a good mic today, I don't have a mouse, and I don't have a voice. So I'm very weak today, uh, but still managed to uh, not lose a game so far. So pretty happy about my banter so far. But hey, I can ruin it all with one mistake. Uh, in the previous game, I blundered a knight in one move. But fortunately for me, my opponent choked. So bishop e2, rook e8, I'm going to go knight d2, a6, a4, which is all normal here. No, so let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Rook e8, knight d2, a6, a4. And what are other plans here for black? Uh, he has some plans with, uh, with c4, which is possible, uh, but I doubt he will know everything here. So I'm counting on the fact that he doesn't know theory, and, uh, 
Hopefully he doesn't know theory. He doesn't know what he's doing. And I'm going to steamroll with my pawns in the center. Play something like um, bishop f3, rook e1, and e5. So rook b8 and queen c7 here are two possible moves against which I will play. Uh, okay, c4. c4 is a common theme here. I think it's king h1, if my memory is correct. Yeah, c4, king h1. And then I can go e5. Takes, takes, and the point is that I might as well uh, gain some time on the rook here. Once he takes, I go knight takes c4, attacking the rook, and d5 still defending. And I think bishop g5 is, is, is something normal here if he plays rook e8. So we'll see what happens. Okay, rook e8, bishop g5. h6, I think I go bishop h4. Else, common ideas here are to go bishop f3. So I think bishop f3 covers some squares on e4. Uh, rook b8. Is he trying to go? Is he trying to go b5? I guess so. So let's not allow him that. And the beauty here is that I'm secretly threatening. I'm secretly threatening this move here, which is very annoying for him to face, because he has to go to a8 and. Okay, here I think he just loses an exchange. Right here. Okay, the issue is, does he get enough comp? If I take, takes, takes, queen takes. Am I going to get boned here on the dark square? Um... Let's see. Oh, he doesn't take. Oh, interesting. He doesn't take. Uh, can I put bishop f4? He, take, he takes on b2. Okay, so let's put this. If he takes, I'm going to have to take back. But the point is, after bishop b2, if I move anywhere with my rook, there was a knight c3, which was pretty annoying. Now he's trying to uh, get some play on the dark squares. So I'm going to have to uh, act very fast. So I guess bishop here. Bishop e5 is a move. But yeah, I have to be careful. Because uh, things could go wrong very quickly. So for instance, uh, yeah, this is tough on him. I go king here, bishop e5. Okay, let's go here. So if he takes, I go queen takes, and I, at least I protect the pawn. And the more pieces I trade, the less likely I'm to be, to get made. So he definitely has some uh, some compensation here. He goes here. Okay, rook d1. Now if he moves the queen later on, I can uh, try to do some damage. If I go king h2, h5 is annoying. So let's go here. And let's try to not get mated. I need to make sure that I have some dark square control, which is very hard in this position. So let's go queen e3. King here. Can I go queen b6? Queen b6. Um... What's going on here? Okay, let's go rook e1. I'm trying to establish uh, some control over the, diag the diagonal here. So what if I play check? And can I run away with my, with my king? Can I run away here? He wants to go queen here, queen here, queen here. Play the queen here and check. But can I run away? 
or am I just dead here? Queen here is very strong. Am I dying here? I might be dying. Queen here was strong. Okay, that was very fortunate. So here, it goes back. Um, should I give up a pawn? Or let's move here. And maybe f1 is a safer square for my king. If I go f1, bishop e2, queen f3. And try to trade some stuff. Okay, here. I think I can go here. If he checks queen f3, my king is never safe. It's a very unpleasant situation here. Takes, I'm going to have to take like this. Okay, I, I might not get made it here. Uh, he, he doesn't have any pieces left. So if he takes a5, he goes here, so I guess queen here. Queen here. Let's go here. Rook c2. Everything on light squares. Okay, let's go here. Bishop here. King here. Now he doesn't have any checks for one move. And I'm going to have to consolidate here. He's threatening maybe queen here, uh, which is pretty annoying. So let's go here. Queen d1, rook c1. No checks. No checks for now. Queen d2. Uh, can I go here? Okay, now he goes here, and again, I'm going to do some running. Well, if he goes here, no, I'm very confident. King c4, check, check, take here, take here. Wow. Very lucky game. Very lucky game. Uh, I felt it was close to a draw, but uh, yeah, he ran out of time and just blundered. Wow, thanks for the game. Thanks for the game. All right, Valor de Poule. Valor de Poule. Let's play. All right. So, a very successful venture so far. I still can't believe I'm undefeated. I'm really about to lose the game, though. Uh, what are the pool? Okay, let's play this. I played g6 earlier, so let's see what he's got. Okay, here, I'm gonna play this line. Okay, well, Kamsky really the main topic today. For those who just joined, you missed out on Kamsky Rage Quitting, available on YouTube. Chess 24, Kamsky Rage Quit in the Venture Blitz Cup. Which, in my opinion, <laughs> was so funny. Uh, okay, h3, I guess knight f6. Uh, and I guess e6 here. c3, bishop e7. Takes d5 and knight e4. And yeah, e5, knight e4. And hopefully, my knight doesn't get trapped and I can trade it. Let's go here. And the knight is not doing much, but uh, often he's going to trade it with either knight c3 or knight d2. Bishop here, okay. I'm going to castle. I hope he's not doing anything sneaky. Okay, now I take. Nothing sneaky here. Uh, so basically, I'm just tr trying to get an improved French. Uh, let's play rook c8 and try to play on, on the queen side here. Uh, maybe knight b4 is possible. Let's see. Um, 
So all I have to avoid is to get me. If he plays queen g4, I might just go bishop f8, just to secure my king. And uh, for a very rare time, though, I don't have a bishop on g7. So you guys uh, rarely see me do this, but I didn't put my bishop on g7. This is one of the rare opening in which I didn't do that. Okay, so knight here. I'm pleased to uh, to exchange some pieces here on the on the queen side. Um, if he goes rook c1, okay, he goes here. I'm definitely going here, and this is a very pleasant game. If he goes knight here, I have b6, and he cannot go knight c5. Happy New Year, Mr. Maytal. Good to see you. No voice, but uh, but good to see you. Okay, so the, do I believe in his attack? The question is, do I believe in his attack? Or do I not believe in his attack? If I play queen a4, it's really disrespectful for him. Uh, but maybe just a5 is a very simple move here. If he goes knight g5, uh, I might wait for him to play knight, uh, queen h5 and then play h6. But meanwhile, I think I'm going to collect all the pawns on the queen side. So I think a5 was a pretty good move here. So guys, uh, let me know how uh, how was today's banter blitz. If you guys liked it, if you guys don't mind don't mind the lower quality mic and the trackpad, I'm gonna do it again tomorrow around the same time, 4 p.m. Eastern time from New York. Special banters from New York. I'm here until next Tuesday. <coughs> and um, also, guys. Um, I will be running an I Am Norm tournament in Montreal from March 2nd to March 6th. And I already have two IMs booked. And I'm looking to uh, secure the spot for a third IM. So if you guys know any international master interested to visit Montreal and play in the round robin tournament, let me know. I uh, posted on Facebook. The post is completely public. Feel free to uh, go on my Facebook profile and share it. I'm looking for an international master. Hopefully over 2300. He can be from any federation. And once I book my IMs, I'll be uh, in the process of uh, booking my FMs. So definitely uh, Good chance to visit Montreal, March second to March sixth, Montreal summer. Uh, sorry, Montreal Winter Chess Classic. I'm gonna try trade this. Is he gonna go rook g3? Yeah, just. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna trade everything here, just to make sure that he has no attack. All right, so now I'm just up a clean pawn. And uh, I'm just going to push, push, and push. My bishop is a monster here, defending g7, as well as uh, defending b4. Yes. Mufong and Shieling would never quit a match because somebody flagged him in an equal position. No, absolutely not. I mean, it's karma. <laughs> I, I do this for a living, so... I flag people for a living. So why would I be mad if someone flags me? It's just part of the, part of the job. So B3, B2, B1. GG, Mr. Valar de Poul. All right. So, guys, um, let's finish the show with Shelling Ford. 
All right, guys. It's time for the main event of the day. Shelling Ford versus me. And I got a feeling that I'm going to get flagged. <laughs> All right, Shelling Ford, best of luck to you, buddy. You've been waiting for a long time. So here we are. I don't know this variation too much. Um, I think I'm supposed to play d5 or e5 at some point, but I'm always confused by what I should do. So if you go to rook c8, I go to bishop d3. And after this, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. All right, let's see. Best of luck to you, Shelling Ford. This should be interesting. Can I play d5? Takes, takes, takes. Bishop f5. Maybe I'm making a mistake. But you know what? We are here to have some fun. This variation is impossible to lose at white, says Sleepy Mario. Well, stay tuned, Sleepy Mario. I'm going to show you how to lose as white. I'm going to show you how to lose this as white. So, Shelling Ford, definitely a strong player. We have played, wow, we have played 13 times so far. I had a good score against him, but uh, not looking great this game. I don't know the opening, not too comfortable with this. Interesting, it goes here, but can I go d6? Can I go d6 and e5? I'm not sure queen e7 was good here. Yeah, now he has to go back. And uh, what if I play a move like this? Is it a little bit annoying for him? Because once I got e5 and it's uh, very unpleasant for him. So obviously he couldn't take on d6 because I had bishop b5. And I if I push e5 right away, okay, now he goes here, which is interesting. Can I take? Can I take and play e5? Or a4? A4, a6. Okay, let's take this guy. And I would like to play e5. But I'm gonna just chill and double my rooks here. And I feel that uh, my pawn will be very strong on e5. So if he goes rook c1, okay, he goes here. Uh, now, how do I approach this? He wants to go rook here next. Can I play knight h4? Knight h4 followed by knight f5, maybe? I have some queen g3 stuff coming. And the point is that he can't play g6 because I got uh, queen takes h6. Uh, that's a good move. That's a good move. Yeah, so let's go here. If he takes, I think I'm going to take back with the queen. Still turning 9 f5. But he's got g6 now. So I gotta go back. And uh, gotta remove the back rank threats. And then what's going on? Then we have to think about life and how to improve our position. The pawn here is either super weak or super strong. King here. Uh, can I go queen, queen e3, turning h6? Uh, so rook d2, followed by king h2. He cannot, um, he cannot move the queen because I push d7. 
If he plays f6, it's a very committal move. Okay, f6. Now, if he goes rook c4, well, let's now move back here. So he can't attack this. And I'm going to try to improve the position. I don't know how, but I'm going to try to improve it. King h2, move my knight away, f3. Let's see what he does. But maybe king h2 is a, is a safe bet. Let's see. If he plays f5, I might have knight takes e5, which is a very sexy move. Okay, can I do it? Takes, takes, queen d4. And d7. And gg. I think I can do this. Takes here. Takes queen d4. He has to defend with the queen, otherwise I play f4. And then I push d7, and I queen my pawn. Let's see what happens here. But I have a good feeling about this. I'm having a very good feeling about this. If I can manage to beat Shelling Ford in this position, I'm very, very satisfied. Um, okay, takes. Let's go. I'm going to trust my, uh, my instincts. But basically, he has to defend uh, the rook. So king f6 or king, yeah, king f6 or queen e6. And then I just push. Yes, guys, so that's 15 points. 3,036. Um, yeah, I'm really proud of this game. Wow. Okay, guys, uh, I guess this is the uh, end of the, the banter. Um, I will talk to Oli. And I'll try to schedule another banter um, tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, that was really, really fun. So thank you so much for joining today. Undefeated. Um, not even a draw. So I won every game. I'm completely sick. No mouse, no mic. But that was really fun times. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Follow the Instagram. And I will see you in... Less than 24 hours. Good evening, guys. Take care.